still haven't been properly notified um, by government officials that Miriam actually was deceased. We did have an opportunity to go and identify the body, but just through a photograph, which, um, you know, still didn't help, you know, with the pain that we're feeling. Um, I found out just at the same time that the rest of the world was finding out through the television, um, so it's still not real and um, very unfortunate. I can tell you that she was um, a woman that law-abiding citizen, um, carefree, loving, just like anyone else. She had a baby and she did suffer from postpartum depression with psychosis, which um, comes along with medication and therapy which she did, she was very compliant with her medication. At the time that she was diagnosed with that, as you know, um, depression can have a certain level um, of instability at that time, which is why she was diagnosed. We don't know why Miriam ended up going to DC. We don't know at that time if her depression, you know, contributed to her going and taking that ride. We don't know what was in her mind at that time. I do feel that law enforcement could have handled the situation a lot differently. How do you know what was in the mind of the individual that was in the car? Only after the fact they understood and delved into her life and understood that she was a, pe a person that happened to be going through depression at one point with psychosis. Her mental status has no bearings on what happened. It doesn't contribute to the events. My family is seeking answers. We have questions. There's a mother who has lost a daughter. Uh, my sisters and I, we have lost a sister. And my niece has lost her mother, and we need to know why. My mother deserves that. It's a shame. It is a shame that my mother, my sisters, and I had to find out from reporters that called us and asked us to watch the news. It's a shame, shame on the metropolitan DC area uh, personnel for not, still not informing us of what has happened to my sister. No one deserves this. Deadly physical force was not the ultimate re recourse and it didn't have to be. And you have to ask yourselves as Americans, is it okay? for that to happen because it can happen to you. And if we are okay with that, then I feel sorry for all of us. Why was my sister shot and killed with her one-year-old daughter in the car and she was unarmed? Why? My mother deserves to know why. We deserve to know why. The deputy chief, I mean the chief of police of the Metropolitan Police Department, she did something that's very irresponsible. She rushed to judgment. What she said was, we don't think it's an accident. We don't know anything yet. All we know is we have a woman that was in a car with a one-year-old child, and now she, there was some firearm discharges and someone's dead. Why and on what facts and circumstances led to the shots, we don't know yet. Is it justified? or does it get to a point where the justification is no longer there and then it becomes excessive force? That's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna just work on what the government premises, we're gonna do our own investigation.